It is end of April here in Phoenix, and just over a year ago, I did plant a new rose bed in my front yard. I did do a video showing how I got that bed ready and showing the little baby roses in its new home. And I also did a couple of follow-up videos showing, you know, how they did. The roses may not perform or look as you might have expected them to perform or look after summer, especially if you're not from here or you've grown roses in a different climate or region. Um, they definitely perform differently here in Phoenix summers than they would elsewhere. So I think that's a really good video just to show you how they might look um, after their first summer. And in this video, I'm going to show you, like I said, it's been just about a year. So this is their first spring. And I'm going to show you in this video how they've looked after they've had a full year here and how they might um, be starting to fill out and look a little bit better from summer. And of course, as the roses get older, they're going to get more established. They're going to get deeper roots. They're going to be a bit larger. They're going to be able to shade themselves a little bit better in the summer and you'll get um, a little bit more of what I've got behind me. But um, this is, you know, these roses behind me are several years old. And so if you're comparing your first year rose to a more established rose, that's not gonna be um, maybe correct or helpful for you. Um, you are gonna wanna compare them to other little baby roses. So that is kind of why I did this little series on um, planting a new rose bed, especially here in Phoenix. I really wanted to help you guys uh, walk through maybe your first rose here in Phoenix. So I will make a little playlist and I'll put all these videos together for you so you can kind of see them in series and you can see what I did, you know, for each kind of season for the rose. I'll also do, you know, an, another year or two follow up video after this just to show how they're kind of growing in, filling in and getting established as well. But in this video, this is their first spring here and I'll show you how they did. So here's the uh, new front garden rose bed at the end of April. Um, you can see quite a bit of it is blooming. And I'll give you a close up. So this one over here is a sun blaze rose that I planted. And if you did watch kind of the summer follow up, you saw that this one looked like it wasn't going to make it. It kind of looked like this down here, which I didn't, like I said on, I believe I said on camera. In that video, I didn't want to stress out the rose by kind of pruning this off, so I left it. So that's why it doesn't look the best here. Um, but now that it's kind of, you know, gone through winter and kind of um, calmed down and put on new growth, I may prune this back. I may leave it on and just print it back in fall, or I might print it back here in spring. Um, but either way, you know, I wanted to show this because I think it's very important that even if a rose looks like it's going to die after its first summer, you know, it might not. It might bounce back like this one did. So this guy put on two really, really strong new canes. Kind of here, you can see the strong cane, and then um, this guy over here. Um, very beautiful, strong canes, very happy with it. Great looking foliage, um, cute little blooms that put on some clusters of blooms. So, this is something typical that I would expect, you know, in the first year um, here in Phoenix. Now, like I said, I'm going to clean it up, prune it up, and um, as it gets older, it'll put on more growth, and it's going to look very good. So if you're frustrated that your roses don't look like amazing after their first year, you know, give them time. Um, the first year is pretty hard on them, especially if they're in a sunny spot, which isn't a bad thing. It's just something they need to get used to. They need to fill in and kind of be able to shade themselves. And over here we have Coco Loco. Coco Loco took some time to put on this new growth. It's only had a couple of blooms um, and it's hiding one back here right now. It's kind of a smaller bloom. But cute colors. 
And the one next to Coco Loco is Sedona. And this one, um, I think, likes the cooler temperatures, which is probably the opposite of Coco Loco. Um, but this one has like really amazing, really large, um, beautiful um, blooms. I waited to do this video until Coco Loco kind of had some, like some um, buds on. So these ones are kind of past their prime. But um, I can do a video just on this one. This had beautiful, perfect, amazing, fragrant blooms, especially in this, the fall. So I think this one's gonna like the cooler temperatures. Well, again, I'm gonna keep my eye and see how it does in the summer, and I can let you guys know. And down here in front is my little drift rose I planted. I really like these little roses. They put on like these really big clusters of mini blooms. So this one is just kind of, you know, filling in, establishing, and getting these clusters put on. Yep, so more of the drift rose. You can see it's got a lot of um, buds and a lot blooming. And then back here, this really beautiful pink um, vine is Colette. So you can see Colette put on quite a few buds and blooms. And I was kind of surprised because when I bought this, it, I don't know, it, it looked kind of like iffy, like maybe, maybe not. Uh, we'll see, I'll plant it and we'll see what happens. But it's done very well. It made it through summer pretty well. And it's come out of it and really put on a lot of buds. You can see a lot of spent blooms. There's a lot of new new blooms and buds still on it. So um, very nice. So this is kind of like an English looking rose. It's got like a shallow um, kind of cup uh, bloom. Yeah, and like I said, I am very surprised by the amount of growth it has put on. Um, sometimes the vines take a while to put on growth. They take a couple of years, two, three years to put on growth and like end up putting out a lot of buds. But this one had quite a lot of buds um, to begin with, so very exciting. I'm excited to see it get, you know, larger and kind of start covering its trellis a bit more. So very hopeful on this one. So that's just a quick overview of how this new bed is doing its first year, first bloom season in spring. And hopefully this helps you, um, this whole series helps you if you're new to Phoenix and planting roses on kind of what you can expect from the roses. You know, it's going to take a couple of years before this fills in and looks really, really good. But for its first year, I'm very happy with how it's progressed and the blooms and how pretty everything's looking together so um, if this was helpful please do like and subscribe thank you